Another use for the bale truck. We needed an outhouse at another function, so I just we slung it with the bale truck and I'm moving it to the next spot. Up at John and Lynn's, it got really rained on, so the rake is having a hard time picking it up. I think the rain was so hard it just pounded all the hay right into the meadow. So they're going to try to get a different rake, see if that will help. And the girls are out here bailing what they can. Cutting my hay up at Snowshoe. We had some rain and some tough luck in the family, so we got delayed for a little while, but finally cutting it. Some of the heaviest hay I think I probably ever had up here. I'm trying to cut rounds out in case I have to leave and dad needs to cut. And I'm having a really hard time just finding my ditches. So it's a good problem to have, but a you know, really good crop most everywhere this year. down and kind of miserable to cut. All the pivots are getting done. See all the bales out there. I think they have one pivot left here. And then they're headed up onto the benches for some more hay fun up there. So going to go feed the crew again. Chuck and Tim have a great time <laughs> harassing each other. Yeah, everything's pulled away. Today we got sandwiches, salads. Hi, Baylor. Hi, Baylor. Hi. How are you? How are you, bud? Okay, get in there. Go ahead, dude. You're hungry. Grouchy. Fields are getting done. They just have that one left up there. There goes Uncle Chuck. How did we go finish the pivot? made it up on the forest to check on my collared cows uh, just let them down kind of off the top of the mountain into this area probably four or five days ago and they let themselves find their way down finally but usually this time of year this will be kind of all laid out because they like to congregate here and the grass is over my waist right here so it definitely works to hold those cows where you want them and calves are looking awful good. Hey mom the cows. There's a cow without a collar. Oh, 
of hard with the wind and stuff, but I can kind of see the transition of here where my virtual fence was. See, this is not a lot of activity in it. And then as you walk along, you can just start to see more trampling and where they've eaten. And now you can see, you know, this area is definitely a lot more eaten down than you know, right back here where we came from. So yeah, you can see right where that fence line came through here. And it's kind of gradual because I think some of those cows get shocked or response from the collar at a different time. So the farther you move into this, the more you can see that it's been eaten on, not eaten down or overgrazed by any means, but just a lot more activity here where they are laying up under the tree but yeah very saw very minimal sign of the creek bottom where they weren't supposed to be at a bunch of the cows enjoying a drink from the water tank are looking really good. Got a couple months here till shipping. They should weigh up good with being able to move them to fresh grass every couple weeks with these collars. And the grass back at home is really good on the meadows and back pastures. Kind of hard to see clear from up here on the ridge but that's some of the rock creek home ranch pivots so we got one big 170 acre pivot yet to bail and the other four bailed down there the cutters moved up just on the other side of that big bench there there's probably this year we'll cut seven or eight hundred acres up there a lot of years we'll do 1500 to 2000 but they're pasturing a lot of it this year so so Amy said that the tractor was low on hydraulic fluid yesterday but they couldn't see where it was leaking so I came over and found it dripping out from underneath the tractor and it was coming from underneath the cab behind the engine so Brendan helped me tear it apart and use his camera scope and we found out that there's a leaking hose for the power steering lines. So three hours later, I got a new hose and got it in here. I'm gonna show you how miserable this thing was to get to. And McCormick made the hose six inches too long. So they put a little U in it to make up for that and it cracked out and broke right where that U was. So it was all because they didn't cut the right size hose pretty aggravating right in there that fitting right there was the one side for the hydraulic hose you had to work right in this little gap and could only get like a sixteenth of a wrench turn and then you'd flip it and it ran down along the frame to right there to the power steering cylinder what a pain in the butt But at least I was able to get it, because if not, I was going to have to drop this whole fuel tank, which is full of fuel, out of the tractor to get to it, but got it done. Okay, here's down by the river is what they call this spot at Bruce's. And Cooper did the rounds yesterday, and I bet he'll have it all cut out when I get home tonight. Boys got it all cut today. Cooper and Reese laid down the whole field. It's good. Making progress. Got most of this raked up. Starting to bale it. Second baler and rake is across the road on a different piece. This ground's a little wet and heavy, but try to get it baled up today.
all bailed up. Headed to the next field. One at a time. <laughs>